you can feel uh, uh, energy, um, a tenseness in the air. No one really thought it was gonna happen, but we were prepared for it. You are worried about one thing and then boom, out of nowhere, you have something bigger to deal with. I won't forget that day or that month. The week of March 9th, 2020, it feels like a lifetime ago, yet at the same time, um, really also <laughs> not that long ago at all. We were told that we should be prepared to work from home any day now. And we weren't ready, maybe partially, but we were not ready. It was just so much commotion going on during that time. It was a lot of uh, unanswered questions. Can IT have the infrastructure to do what we need to do? Do we have enough computers to go around? That week was really busy. Um, working in news and having a story like uh, COVID-19, feeling that intensity, feeling that energy in the air, and leaving on Friday the 13th. Ominously, it was Friday the 13th. Not realizing that I would not be back. I can't believe it's been a year. I think like most people, when it first started, we thought it'd be a week, maybe two. But like I said, here we are a year later. Oh, one year. Wow. Um, yeah, my I remember my first day working from home was March 26th. A couple of weeks prior to that, the art department, we had staggered our time and, and one of us would go into the station at a time. Um, and I just remember that being really weird because the station was like a ghost town. I left a cup of tea because <laughs> it was really busy on Friday. And I left for the day around six o'clock at night, like normal, maybe a little bit after. And uh, I hope somebody emptied that cup of tea because it's probably still sitting there. Working from home was odd for a long time. Just certain things that we couldn't do from home. <clears throat> and didn't need to do from home because the world has changed. It's crazy to me how quickly we were able to adapt to this new environment. We did what we could do uh, to the best of our abilities. Getting my computer set up and, um, you know, being an IT person, which is not my thing at all. Um, so it was difficult. Pivoting and shifting, and definitely the first month was challenging, trying to get all of the workspaces that we needed in place um, for the design team in general, making sure everyone had computers and their programs and what this looked like and what different software we needed to make this happen and how we remote into our machines. And it was so much and so daunting and just trying to, um, calm my nervous system. And then at the same time, in the background, this is happening to everyone, like everyone. And the impact of that, and also, and also, you know, the reality that we're now living in a pandemic, like as hu humans, this isn't something we just read about in a history book. We are the history book. We are currently in something that is going to be talked about decades later. My husband's an RN, um, so he was a COVID nurse for months, um, several months. So that was really, really unnerving. Um, he was on the front line. I just remember worrying about him every day. He's a smoker, so you know, had he contracted it, it, it would not have been good. But thank goodness he never did. And then also, uh, I hit the ground running. My uncle passed away. Funerals were not in person anymore. And so we couldn't even go and pay our respects, which was really sad. Um, that still hurts, actually. It's been hard. Um, it's been taxing. My family members back home in Jamaica their main source of income is no more. So for them, it's been challenging. I just found out that my wife was expecting. Um, so we were all the more cautious. For us, we really had to 
evaluate all those risks. You could be as mentally prepared as possible, but you just don't know until you're in a situation. I had a close call with, with COVID-19. Thankfully, me and my family have been healthy so far, but my mother did have it. Um, and that was really scary to because so much is unknown about how it affects people and it's so different for every single person. Um, my mom has had some health issues in the past and I didn't know then what this was gonna look like for her. January 3rd, a day I'll never forget, um, I tested positive for COVID. It kicked my butt. I've never been that sick. Um, I laid in bed for 12 days straight. At this point, just about everybody in America knows someone who was affected by COVID. My uncle lost his fight to COVID. And at the small memorial service we had for him, my aunt just kept saying, this didn't have to happen. Before the pandemic, I felt like my life was kind of moving at a very fast pace. Um, in this industry, you have to work as quickly as the news moves. And in that kind of environment, it's easy to let things in your life slip, like your health. But working from home really made me slow down and my health came to the forefront. I knew that I had a lump on my neck and I think I always felt like I had more pressing things to worry about um, than getting it checked out. Uh, over the summer, I told somebody who I'm very close to um, about it and he encouraged me to get it checked out. And I think, you know, seeing how sick people were getting with COVID, it really kind of opened my eyes and made me realize that I should take health concerns a little more seriously. I found a primary care physician for the first time in my adult life and got it checked out. And I had an ultrasound. And within a few days, I found out that I had thyroid cancer. You know, it's scary. You know, we're this whole year, we're worried about the big C word, you know, COVID. And then all of a sudden I'm dealing with the other dreaded C word, cancer. It's not something I expected to happen in 2020, but also it's something that I don't know if I would have taken care of had it not been the circumstances of 2020. Throughout this ordeal, I've tried to stay positive. I've tried to think of the things that, the good things that came out of this. And no question, the best thing about this was I've spent more time with my family, specifically my two sons, um, this past year than I probably did the previous 18 combined. Before, I saw my son in the morning, uh, now that he's in high school, a little less because they start earlier. Uh, but my time with him was an hour and a half at the end of the day. And that's been my past eight years. So to have this time back with my child before he goes to college. I treasure that. It's been a gift. It's been a gift. And not obviously at all <laughs> would I ever want this delivered in the form of a global pandemic that has caused mass disruption, people losing their jobs, so many heartaches, so many people losing loved ones, obviously never. But for me, um, it's been a gift. In August, I decided it was time and I adopted a dog and he's definitely been keeping me company. His name's Ghost, he's an Akita Husky mix. He's definitely been very entertaining and has been such great company to have during these times. He's become part of my routine since working from home. Um, we wake up in the morning, we go on a nice long walk and it's just a nice way to start the day with him. My son was born on the day before Thanksgiving. It's really just a blessing. Flash forward to December. Thank goodness he has received both of his vaccines. So he's, he's in a, 
a lot better place now. 2020, you know, this, this little scar on my neck will always be the memory of the year that that was, you know, the, the year of the pandemic, the year of working from home, uh, the year of cancer for me. We're fortunate enough to be some of the people who are able to work from home and not necessarily be in direct fire of this pandemic. And I hope that the industries that this has impacted do get relief and are able to pivot and figure out ways so that we can get back to something. I hesitate to say the word normal because I don't know that there is a normal to get back to, but hopefully embracing everything that we've learned through going through this crisis, hopefully having gratitude for the things that maybe we did take for granted before, and hopefully those things stay. So I'm hopeful.